Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's um, Skincare Saturday. So today I do have a skincare item I want to share with you. It is from Pixie, and I don't try Pixie very often. And um, I dug this out of the box that has stuff from our old business, and I was jealous when we bought this for the business. I wanted to try it, but this is the Pixie. Um, glow Trio, so it's best of bright, and you get a Glow Mud Cleanser, a Glow Tonic, which I've heard great things about, and the Glow Mud Mask. So, if you'd like to hear about this, you need to use all three steps, two of them in the tub, the cleanser and the mask, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that jazz, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so, um, yeah. Uh, Pixie is expensive. It's sold at Target. We don't have a Target here. We actually got this at, uh, what is that? TJ Maxx? Not TJ Maxx. The other really, really awesome store, but they're expensive and we don't go very often. Um, I'll go and put it across the screen when I remember it, because I can't remember it right now. But anyway, it regularly retails for $22. I think we got this for 8 or 9 so over half off. But these are travel, so you get a half ounce of the Glow Mud Cleanser. You get 1.35 fluid ounces of the toner and then half an ounce of the Glow Mud Mask. But um, yeah, it's supposed to give you like your best skin. And the cleanser is gentle yet effectively exfoliates to remove dead skin cells and reveal a more radiant and healthy skin. Detoxifies pores and deep cleans by drying out impurities while improving essential nutrients to skin. You can use it AM and PM. Uh, if it exfoliates, I wouldn't use it, both AM and PM. The Glow Tonic is supposed to even out your skin tone for a brighter, cleaner, smoother complexion, and it's alcohol-free, and you're supposed to sweep it across face, neck, and decollete, and avoid eye area. And then the Mud Mask is aloe vera, ginseng, and mineral-rich mud combined to create the ultimate deep pore cleansing and skin energizing mask, great for congested, dull, and tired skin. So, sounds just right up my alley. Um, it's summertime, it's hot. My skin isn't always a fan, but it feels super cute. And I'm excited to try this. Okay, let's go ahead and try the cleanser. All I did was use my little, this thingy, take some makeup off, and then an oil cleanser to remove makeup and sunscreen. So I actually have not actually like washed my face. So, okay, just gonna take all of it out. And then I'm excited most about the toner just cause I heard like, everyone on YouTube, just like anybody, they all love the, uh, the glow tonic. So, okay, so this is the cleanser and I'm excited, let's go ahead and do it, so. Is it sealed for my protection? It is sealed for my protection, which I do appreciate. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, I don't know what's in it. I didn't see any like. I'll have to look closer, but I'm, ass I'm gonna. Ex I'm gonna. Go I'm gonna assume that this probably has both physical and chemical exfoliants in it. it smells good. Let me add a little bit of water. Oh, it doesn't suds. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not feeling any kind of physical exfoliant. So this must be just chemical, which chemical is really nice. Sometimes I like the feeling of a scrub or like a cleansing brush, but to each their own. No stinging, which is lovely. Okay, it rinsed really, really nicely. I'm surprised that it rinsed so nicely. A lot of times cream cleansers or cleansers that don't suds, they don't really feel like they ever rinse away completely. This definitely feels like it rinsed away, rinsed completely. Just drying my face because we're going to be doing the, the mask next. Skin feels soft, doesn't feel stripped. I'm impressed. Okay, so the mask, um, I'm supposed to leave it on for 15 minutes until it dries down. 
Um, it says you can use it two to three times a week. Once again, I would just start with one. If you feel like your skin can handle it, move on to two. Go ahead and open this up. Okay, it's a dark mud mask. I'm gonna use it everywhere because I'm congested everywhere, especially on my chin though. It's a nice thinner one, which is nice. Um, sometimes if they're too thick, they're hard to spread around. Like one of my Holy Grail, the Queen Helene Mint Julep. Love that, but it's thick, so sometimes it's hard to get moving around the space. I'm going to be using a really, really gentle moisturizing moisturizer because, I don't know, I'm this is still a little hot. It might have been a mistake to use both of them in the same day, but it says you can. But I'm still going to use the Glow to Tonic. Well, that's what I'm most excited about. But these two other things have been nice so far. Okay, so we've got a nice thin layer, nothing too thick. We'll go ahead and let this dry for, dry down. And uh, I'll see you before I rinse it, and then I'll see you when I get out uh, to use the glow tonic. So I'll see you in a sec before we rinse this. Okay, so I've had this on for about 15 minutes, and I don't think it's drying down because it's too humid in my bathroom, because I have the door shut, which Thor's not around anymore, unfortunately, so I don't know why I close the door anymore. You know what I mean? When you're married. Um, anyway, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this. Part of it has dried, my forehead is not, um, but the heating, tingling sensation I had when I first put it on totally went away. So I will see you in a moment after I get out and put on some pajamas, but yeah, I'll see you in a second. Okay, you know the deal. Just got out of the tub and I am super hot, so have to have the door open. Okay, so um, rinsed off the mask, rinsed off beautifully. I do have to say, I think my skin looks brighter. Um, definitely has more of a glow. I was, when I was in the tub, I was looking for the ingredient list. This is it right here. See how tiny that is? Yeah, okay, so the cleanser and the toner both have glycolic acid. So that is the chemical exfoliant in these is glycolic acid, just FYI. The mud mask has a whole bunch of like natural stuff in it, like hop, hops extract, rosemary, um, sunflower seed oil, um, the aloe juice, sea salt, um, benzonite clay, um, ginseng root extract. So yeah, so the mud mask from what I could see on the ingredients list, which I'm old, so don't know if I saw all of it, but I didn't see glycolic acid in the mud mask, just in case you are sensitive to glycolic acid. But I'm excited to try the toner now, so let's do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using one of my little reusable little pads here. Let's see here. Okay, I guess we'll just go with one of these. I need to get more of these. I need like the bamboo or cotton ones that I actually absorb. Okay, so the whole entire avoid eye area. So I heard this is amazing. Let's give it a try. So it does have like one of those little holes, which is nice. So that way you can control how much is coming out, especially if you're using a reusable little pad. Okay, I think we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead. Which my skin does like glycolic acid. I don't know if you can see that, but compared to this side, the minute I put this on my skin, I do have a little bit of redness, which can be normal with glycolic acid and pretty much any kind of exfoliating acid. Yeah, definitely have some redness coming on. Not mad about it. No stinging or anything. Okay, stinging a little bit now, up on my forehead. So, and then we'll do our neck. I love glycolic acid for anti-aging and also it helps with blackheads and whiteheads so much. It's amazing. This has a little bit of a scent, but nothing bad. 
So yeah, definitely a little bit of redness. Nothing bad though. You guys like my sideburns? I'm growing them out, but I'm also trying to style them different, you know, not shave all. Yeah. Somebody's like, oh, you know, so. Feels good. Okay. So I think we're good here. Okay. So toner is nice. Definitely has some redness coming through. Like, yeah, like right here on the side of my face, you can see some splotchiness starting to come through. Not a big deal to me. I do think if you have very sensitive skin, if you're sensitive to glycolic acid, I would probably avoid this whole entire line just to be safe. Um, but I do like it. Um, I like the cleanser, even though I'm not a huge fan of cleansers that don't suds. This was really, really nice. Um, like the mud mask, I'll definitely use everything in this trio. Um, the toner, I definitely feel like it's a little bit aggressive. It could be because I used the cleanser, but it says to use the toner after cleansing with the cleanser. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, I like it. I think it's a good trio. I think if you aren't sensitive to glycolic acid, if you do have that certain skin type that your skin really li loves glycolic acid like mine, I think that the uh, Pixi Best of Bright Little Trio is really, really good. I like all three products that I tried and I'm excited to continue using them. You'll definitely be seeing these in an upcoming empties for sure because they are smaller mini deluxe travel sizes or whatever, but I like this little kit. I think it's really, really good and it definitely helped. Like, just the cleanser and the mask itself really helped to make my skin look brighter, but I like these. But anyway, there we go. I will go ahead and link this down below. It will either be in the little products tab, or it will be an Amazon affiliate link, or pretty much anywhere I can find it. If it's an Amazon affiliate link, it's going to be, um, it's going to be, yeah, an affiliate link. So, yeah, and then you don't have to use it. It's just there for shopping ease. But if you did enjoy today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried any of the, you know, the, any of the glow things from Pixie. Um, what did you think? Did your skin like it? I would love to know down below. And of course, you're more than welcome to follow me on my social media. I have Facebook and Instagram, and it is at Budget Plan Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start on a plane here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.